So I recently picked up a Pentax 6.7. Uh, I've been wanting one ever since I kind of got into film photography, and it is not here with me today because it's in the shop getting repaired. As soon as I got it, I had a wedding in Charleston. So I decided to take the Pentax with me to run some test rolls through. I wanted to get the lighthouse at Huntington Island. And also I wanted to go to a place called Driftwood Beach uh, after the wedding. And so I was gonna run two test rolls through. You know, I've ran test rolls through every camera I've got. Never had an issue, so I didn't think anything would be different. But uh, yeah, I had an issue. Something's wrong with the show. Got the scans back from the lab. They said, hey, something's probably wrong with your shutter because you're having a lot of black uh, black frames, and it's true. Out of the first roll I had, I only had uh, five out of the 10 frames. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing uh, this morning. Pretty much every photo I took this morning at Hunted Island was trash. I really want to use this channel to show uh, my process, my journey as a film photographer. You know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And, and as excited I was as I was to use the Pentax, uh, this ended up being one of the uglier ones and not one of my best outings. But hey, you live and you learn, and you grow from there. I will say though that afternoon, I went to Driftwood Beach. So this was my second test roll. I uh, probably should have just ran one test roll with the issue, but I didn't know at the time. So I ran two test rolls, and yeah, I only got eight out of ten frames from this one. And I was, I'm pretty happy with these photos. You know, they turned out, they turned out pretty good. So to get to Driftwood Beach, you have to walk probably like a mile trail through a marsh, and it's literally just nothing but a trail. And then once I got to Driftwood Beach, I mean, it's literally just a beach and it was slam full of uh, driftwood. You know, it's just driftwood. It was just like a sea of driftwood. It was just a maze. And I'm sitting there at first looking like, how am I, how am I gonna compose anything? And I just kind of sat back, walked around a little bit. And that's the thing I like about uh, medium format, you know, only getting 10 frames versus 36. It really makes me sit back and think really like I can't tell you how many times I put my eye up to a viewfinder to compose an image and I just wasn't happy with it so I didn't pull the I didn't hit the shutter but what I ended up doing was finding kind of like singular driftwood and taking those and composing those and using it and It was a gloomy day. It was at, it was supposed to be at sunset. It was late in the afternoon, but it was just no color in the sky. And in my head, I wanted uh, some HP5. I wanted some black and white stock, but I didn't have any at the time. That was another lesson I learned. I'm always gonna have a roll of color film and a roll of black and white film with me at all times just for this. But I ended up being happy with like a little bit of color that came through the port. 